Hi wonderful people and welcome back to my channel where we talk about the Christian faith, health, money and lifestyle. So today's video is prompt, I don't even know what I'm going to say next, but I am so triggered by what I've been seeing on the social media trend, black Twitter you will say, um, what's been trending about whatever his name is, Mo Koroma, whatever he is, the footballer guy, and just all the sexual assault um, accusations that are coming out about and all the stories just being so similar and these predators these pred if you don't know about me or this is the first time on my channel i was sexually assaulted when i was 16 by someone who's a little bit older and almost got assaulted again when i was 17 by someone who's a little bit older and it's just like these predators target younger girls they'll maybe in their late teens early 20s and they'll target the 15 year olds the 14 year olds the 16 year olds who are impressionable who are not they haven't figured themselves out in terms of their self-confidence and self-worth and these predators know who to prey on and it's just watching just go doing some research and looking at the kind of guy he is and the things he will say to women and it just i'm so triggered that I'm making a video in my car and it's boiling in here. But I also wanted to do this video because there are so many young women and I hope if you're a young woman watching this, learn the signs, learn. The first thing is about valuing yourself. Because a guy telling you, I get girl anyway, I can get any kind of girl because of the type of person I am or the kind of person I am, doesn't give you, make should make you feel less than that you feel like you have to do something in order to impress somebody you don't have to do anything to impress anybody and people are not learning the importance of even knowing what sexual assault is or sexual um misconduct is if you don't want to do something and someone is forcing you to do coercing you to do it or pressuring you to do it that's assault and you need to know that you're not at fault when someone's trying to do something to you and watching even a few clips of this guy saying things like you don't choose who you fall in love with it just happens and you don't choose who you fall for or this is just who i am that means even if you accused him of something he'll be like but it's your fault that you brought yourself to my yard why did you come to my yard knowing what we were talking about someone talking to you and talking sexually to you does not mean you have the right to their body or telling people to send you videos that is assault that's a crime I bet if the police was to arrest him and go through his hard drive, they'll find clips. The fact that you're sending things to a, a group chat that you have of women or taking photos or pictures of people without their consent, those things are assault. And there's so many, I wouldn't say black men, but my experience has only been from, from black men, so that's all I know. I can't talk about everybody else. But these guys tend to be charismatic, kind of exciting, they may be good looking, everybody loves them, they know how to get a crowd around them and then because of that they think they have a right or they think they have um, privileges because you brought yourself to my yard or you're the one chatting to me or you're the one messaging me or you because you like someone doesn't mean you have a right or you need to have sex with them, it doesn't matter, it does not give you the right. Oh my gosh, I am so triggered that I am angry enough to come and sit in my hot car to make a video. Please, young women, don't feed into these men because predators look for prey. They look for vulnerable people. They look for people, they search for people who have um, something, maybe they, they're searching for love, they want to be cared for. And sometimes some of them are just straight out predators. I don't business what you've gone through. I don't business how confident you are. I'm going to take something because I think I can because I think I can and you need to know within yourself I've spoken to so many young women and they tell me their stories and they're still in that place of but I went there or I spoke to him or he told me to link up with him and I did so I'm at fault as well or what can I do about it nobody will believe me but look at what's happened already we live in a generation where if you speak your truth other people will speak their truth too and before you know it multiple people the worst thing about these predators is you're not the only one when someone is a predator they're a rapist they tend to rape multiple people and they may think oh i slept with bear gal not knowing that you coerced these girls into sleeping with you and if you're a man watching this please don't ever put yourself in a position that will cause anybody to even be able to accuse you 
of sexual assault. Like, ha- like it, it, it'll be impossible for them to accuse you. Coercing somebody is assault. Doing things like saying you're wearing a condom and you're not, that's assault. Taking pictures of people when they don't know you're taking pictures of them, that's assault. Asking children and young girls to send you naked pictures of themselves. So you have it on your phone that you can spread around. Like revenge porn vibes. That's assault. And I'm just so upset that it keeps happening over and over and over again. And I just want to encourage anybody who's experienced it. There's more. Don't let it stop you from being who God's called you to be. Don't let it... Because uh, sometimes the element of shame comes with it. It's just that like I gave into it or I went there or I was a part of it or I consented to one part so then it, it's my fault that it went too far. Don't ever, ever, ever have to feel that way and know that you are worthy of being loved. You are worthy of being cared for. You are worthy of being accepted for who you are. You are worthy of your yes when you want to do something and you say yes. And you are worthy of your no being respected. Because so many people don't respect people's no. Because they don't think they have a right to it. I'm not a piece of um, garbage or rubbish. That you can just think, oh, even though you're saying no, you mean yes. No. When pe- if somebody is consenting to something, they know they're consenting to something. And when somebody's not consenting to something, they know they're not consenting to something. So I'm going on a rant. But please, this guy needs to be... Ca- I am anti cancelling people until today. Until this guy, it's just like, no, I bet there are so many other people. And the fact that his girlfriend is so young compared to him shows that he even likes younger girls. And younger girls are impressionable. The things that I experienced at 16, I'm 30, in my 30s now, it just, I was just thinking, oh, Vanessa, what were you thinking? Who do you think you were? Like, where were you? What was your mindset like? And that even saddens me sometimes. So if you're in your teens, your early 20s, please learn to love you. Because there's only one of you in this whole entire world. And God knows you by name. When God knows you by name, there's nothing. If the king of kings knows you by name, who are you to come and try and, find, try and test me in terms of finding my validation? I find my, I've got my validation already. So I'm just making this short video to encourage young women, even if you've experienced it already, don't feel ashamed. Don't feel like you had a part to play with it when your consent was no. When you said no, no meant no, regardless of what you did initially or prior or before. And men, please somebody's body, even husband and wife, even though you two become one, they still need to provide consent. Because when someone takes something away from you that does not belong to you, and when someone assaults you, it violates you. It violates your core. And it can keep you frozen and stuck in life. And it's not worth robbing young women of that. Stop robbing young women of their virtue and boasting about it. It's not acceptable. And I hope in this time where we're able to speak our truth, that people will be able to speak forth and know what they believe in and be confident in what they believe in and share the truth so people are set free. So I just want to say thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I share content on faith, health, money and lifestyle. God bless you and have a blessed day. Bye.